Today we are going to start a new chapter, which is the deformation. Let's begin. Achati, deformation of solids. Understand that deformation is caused by tensile or compressive forces. You should know that forces and deformations will be assumed to be in one dimension only, right? Understand and use the term load, extension, compression, and limit of proportionality. We'll talk about that. Recall and use Hooke's law. Recall and use the formula for the spring constant that is k is equal to f over x. We'll talk about that. Define and use the term stress, strain, and the young modulus. Right? Describe and experiment to determine the young modulus of the metal in the form of a wire. So let us begin. What is deformation? You should know that when forces are applied, or an object, whenever forces are applied to a solid body, its shape or size may change. And this change of shape or size is called deformation. So for example, I have here a wire and I pull the wire from both ends, from here and here, right? So this is a pull that I have and this is a pull that I have. So here will be tension and here will be tension. For example, आपके पास एक string है यहाँ पे या कोई wire है तो यहाँ पे अगर force यहाँ पे लग रही है तो देखिए tension इसके opposite होगी along the wire और यहाँ से भी tension along the wire होगी so this is tension that we have this is also the tension that we have there's a pull here there's a pull here and you should know that the tension always acts away from the object इसको हम कहते हैं tensile deformation उसके बाद हमारे पास एक चीज आती है कंप्रेसिव डिफॉर्मेशन कंप्रेसिव डिफॉर्मेशन में क्या होता है आई कैन पुश हियर आई कैन हैव अ पुश हियर दिस इज अ पुश एंड दिस इज आल्सो अ पुश एंड व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट वी हैव कंप्रेशन इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन दिस इज द कंप्रेशन दैट वी हैव वी कॉल दिस कंप्रेसिव डिफॉर्मेशन अच्छा उसके बाद अगर आपके पास फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे एक वायर है उसकी इनिशियल लेंथ एल नॉट है and for example you attach a load with the spring right you will attach for example a load here right this is the load that we have you get the weight is mg and we have here l as the stretch length theek hai agar maine load lagaya to usko maine keh diya stretch length acha what is the extension here extension is given by stretch length minus unstretch length Which is the original length, right? This is the unstretched length, no? This is the unstretched length that we have. आप इसको stretch नहीं किया. The extension is given by stretch length minus unstretched length. So we can write here the stretch length is given by L minus L naught. Or we can also write here x is equal to we we usually represent it with x. X is equal to L minus L naught. For example, मेरे पास यहाँ पे एक spring था उसकी initial length five थी. This was five, or I will put a load here. For example, and this length has seven centimeter. So, how much extension will be? Seven minus five, which is two centimeter. Okay. After that, we have whenever we, you know, attach a load with the wire, there are two things. One is elastic change, and one is plastic change. I'm going to talk about elastic change first. In an elastic change, an object. returns back to its original shape and size when the load is removed in an elastic change what happens is an object returns back to its original shape so for example i had here a spring and i attached a load with it aur jab main is load ko utarunga to wapas usi length pe wo wapas aata hai koi extra deform nahi hoga aap ek rubber band ko stretch kare wapas apni jagah pe aa jata hai aap ek spring le laboratory mein uske sath aap load lagaye आप लोड को उतारेंगे तो वो वापस अपनी जगह पे आ जाएगी अच्छा उसके बाद हमारे पास एक चीज आती है प्लास्टिक चेंज प्लास्टिक चेंज में क्या होता है हमारे पास एक वायर है जिसमें डिफरेंट एटम्स हैं और मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं। मैं इन दोनों को यहाँ पे इस तरह से पुल करता हूँ राइट आई गिव इट समेंशन 
क्या होगा देर गोना डिस्प्लेस लाइक दिस तो द लेयर्स ऑफ एटम्स देर गोइंग टू स्लाइड द लेयर्स ऑफ एटम्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स दे स्लाइड एंड डू नॉट रिटर्न बैक टू ओरिजिनल शेप सो व्हाट हैपन वी कॉल दिस द प्लास्टिक चेंज मेरे पास पहले यहां पे एक वायर थी और मैंने यहां पे एक लोड अटैच किया ठीक है और जब मैं इसको रिमूव करूंगा लोड को तो क्या होगा वो वापस लेंथ उतनी नहीं आएगी मतलब अगर ये फॉर एग्जांपल शुरू में 5 सेंटीमीटर थी 5.0 सेंटीमीटर थी तो लोड लगाया तो चले एक्सटेंड कर गई लेकिन जब मैं लोड रिमूव करूंगा तो ये तो हो सकता है 6.5 सेंटीमीटर पे आ जाए तो ये एक परमानेंट एक्सटेंशन आ गया इसमें ठीक है देयर इज अ परमानेंट एक्सटेंशन हियर वी कॉल दिस चेंज द प्लास्टिक चेंज अच्छा देयर इज अनदर थिंग हियर एंड आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट द द ग्राफ that we can have in such conditions right uske bare mein hum baat karenge here i have something like this this is x centimeters and we have the force here as newton acha agar main isko load lagaun yahan pe to ye ja ke is tarah se ye bend hoga right extension axis ki taraf it's going to bend like this right this point here where we get a straight line this point p is known as the limit of proportionality this point here is known as the elastic limit theek hai ye jo region hame nazar aa raha hai ye wala ye e jo hota hai na it is just beyond point p point p tak ye wire straight rehti hai force direct extension ki directly proportional hai e pe force extension ki directly proportional nahi rehti but the wire returns back to its original shape E पे वापस जरूर आ जाती है लेकिन P पे क्या होता है P पे तो वापस आएगी आएगी लेकिन E पे भी वापस आ जाती है क्योंकि E तक इट्स द इलास्टिक लिमिट मतलब उसके अंदर थोड़ी सी गुंजाइश है इट हैज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी राइट नाउ दिस रीजन इज व्हाट वी कॉल द प्लास्टिक रीजन दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल द प्लास्टिक रीजन एंड वी कॉल दिस द प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन राइट इट हैज बीन डीफॉर्मड एंड इफ वी ट्राई टू यू नो move it back this is loading and this is unloading jab aap unload karenge to wo wapas ek permanent stretch aa jayega to yahan pe kya ho raha hai there is a permanent stretch p aur e mein difference ye hai ke p tak hooks law apply hoga force extension ki directly proportional hai lekin e pe kya ho raha hai e pe force extension ki directly proportional nahi hai lekin wapas aa jata hai p is known as the limit of proportionality and you should know that that it is a point until which the extension is directly proportional to the force point e ko hum kehte hain elastic limit what is elastic limit you should know that it is just beyond point p elastic limit is the maximum force that can be applied to a wire or a spring such that the wire or the spring returns back to its original length when the force is removed and also you should know that the spring is deformed permanently after e and the change is said to be plastic for points beyond e actually let's move ahead let us talk about hooke's law right what is hooke's law provided that the limit of proportionality is not exceeded the extension of a body is proportional to the load provided that the limit of proportionality is not exceeded the extension of a body is proportional to the load and this law can be expressed as force is directly proportional to extension where f is what we call the stretching force and x is the extension f is the stretching force and x is the extension and this gives us f over x is equal to constant k theek hai f over x is equal to a constant k and we call this the stretching force as i have already told you this is the extension this k is the spring constant you should know that the spring constant has units has si units newton per meter because this is in newtons and this is in meters so we get what we get newton per meter and also i've already told you that if this this is the force and this is the extension 
we get what we get something like this this is p usse just beyond e hai to hooks law sirf yahan tak apply ho sakta hai isse aage aap apply nahi kar sakte let's do a question 